Tunnelbear is the easy to use VPN that lets you browse the internet privately. The first app here sitting on just under 500 downloads is called Draws, and it's very simple. The app allows you to create these collapsible boxes, which when in use can overlay across any one of your applications. And there are quite a lot of options here. You can have up to six different drawers of different colors holding different applications at any one time, and each one of those drawers can hold up to five apps. Setting it up is pretty simple. You can just tap one of these spare slots within one of your drawers, and it'll show you a list of all your apps, for which you then pick one to fill that space. And it's a convenient way to sort things. You could, for example, use one for your most frequent apps and one for your most frequent games. App number two is called Plus. It tries to be your entire online world thrown into one app. You can find anyone or anything with an online presence and use this to either find them on Google Maps, instantly message them on Facebook, or follow them on Twitter. And of course, you can also create your own. So here I'm creating one for Mr. Who's the Boss, in which I'll add my Twitter, my Snapchat, my YouTube, all my different links so that if you visit this platform, you can then from here find me everywhere. It's quite a good thing to put in an Instagram bio. I've seen a few accounts using this, and it makes sense. Instead of bombarding your followers with eight different links, just send them one. You could place it in your Twitter bio where you're only allowed one website link. You could put it in a website, or you could even put it as your email signature. I gotta say, I really like this next one. This is called Navbar Animations, and it takes what we've seen with Navbar apps a step further. Not only can you now customize those three buttons at the bottom, but you can also add animations to it. And there are a lot of different themes here to choose from. Everything from black and white to colorful, to cosmic, to something that looks like Google Stock Launcher. You'll find what you're looking for here. Whilst I did find it ran pretty okay on the Galaxy Note 8, it only feels truly at home on Google's own devices, or at least a phone running stock Android. These animations really are a very good way of jazzing up your phone. They can be anything from subtle to extremely in your face. The only thing I would say which is a bit of a problem is that the same animation occurs whether you press the middle or either side buttons. Hopefully that'll improve in an update. Next up we have the Kika keyboard, an app designed really just to have fun and one that's primarily targeted at a younger demographic. It is a keyboard application. It's got a pretty good text correction engine and feels fast to type on. The app is packed to the brim with themes and most of them are free, so you can have some control over the way it looks. And the styles don't necessarily have to be in your face and super colorful. There are some fairly clean ones there too. The real reason for downloading Kika Keyboard is that it not only supports your standard emojis, but also has built-in stickers and GIFs. I really like this one. This is Pixelscapes, and it is a retro-inspired, automatically scrolling live wallpaper app. And once you've set it, it really does look gorgeous in motion. There are three quite diverse themes to choose from once you've downloaded it. You can have an icy one, a grassy one, or a beachy one. And all of them look really great. Whilst the resolution isn't the highest, the colors truly pop, and they serve as a nice contrast to your sharp and well-defined widget and icons. Now we're on the subject of wallpapers, I really like Wall-P, which is, to be honest, a pretty terrible name for what is otherwise a fantastic wallpaper app. What it does is takes the stock wallpaper apps from just about every single flagship phone released in the last three or four years and bundles them together. So you're getting full, super high resolution, automatically updating stock wallpapers. And there's something innately satisfying about applying the iPhone X's wallpaper, for example, to your Galaxy Note 8. These stock wallpapers, they have a little bit more behind them because they are usually associated with the device they were released with. Did you know that your fingerprint scanner, when not being used for that particular purpose, has a second function? If you download Fingerprint Quick Action, you can now remap it. So it will still serve as a fingerprint scanner when your screen is locked and you're trying to get in, but at the same time when you're using your phone, you can now use this as another button. You can make it so that every time you touch it, it takes a screenshot or takes you back to the home menu, and actually compared to the standard actions to normally initiate those responses, just touching that scanner can actually be quite a bit easier. This app is a bit of an odd one to feature on an episode like this because it's called Add Text, and put simply, it allows you to add text to images, which is a very basic functionality, but it does what it does quite well. So you can pick a whole bunch of different fonts, all your different colors, and what it allows you to do, which I think is really good, is adjust the perspective of your text. So it's a pretty small thing, but in the entire landscape of mobile phone photo editors, very few can actually do this. And it does so whilst retaining a super high resolution and looking really, really sharp. Next up, we have the Lawn Chair Launcher, which is trying to bring pixel features to everybody. It is actually an open source project completely made by volunteers, and they promise to keep it completely stock and completely free. And you can choose to use it with your current stock wallpapers and your current stock icon packs, but if you go into the settings, you'll realize there is so much customization here. And if you spend a bit of time in these menus, really tweaking the finer details, you can come out with something that looks very convincing in terms of being a stock Android experience. You could fool people into thinking it's a Pixel 2 XL. 
So the next app is another widget, which gives you a lot of customization options in a fairly clean and minimalistic package, and it looks pretty good. But at the same time, whilst it's trying to mimic something like Super Widget, what you gain in terms of convenience for having everything you need inside this one application, you're losing customization. There's no extra skins to download here. Everything you can change is in the app. Finding secure access to internet can be challenging. Hotel and cafe Wi-Fi hotspots are notoriously insecure networks to do anything personal, like banking or working. That's just one of the reasons why millions of people trust TunnelBear to protect their data. TunnelBear is a simple to use privacy app that helps you to browse a more open internet. There's virtually no setup, just sign up and download the app, and once you turn TunnelBear on, all of your network traffic is encrypted, which stops other people from seeing what you're doing online. When you sign up for a TunnelBear account from tunnelbear.com slash boss, you'll get free monthly data, and you don't need a credit card to try it for free. That's tunnelbear.com slash boss. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.